Hello, welcome back to the wooden walls of wonder that is the shed. Good to have you with us on this particularly chilly wintry morning, hence the extra layers to protect myself from the inclement weather. And today we're just going to quickly look at a very high-end set of products, but a lovely set of products. I am of course talking about the Arri Signature Zooms. For most of us mortals, these zooms are a rental option but they are a very significant move by Ari in the lens market. And what they're offering is one, two, three, four focal lengths and a 1.7 extender. So we have a 45 to 135 T 2.8, a 65 to 300 2.8, a 16 to 32, and a 24 to 75. They're all T 2.8 all the way through, and then an extender as well, which is meant to barely drop off the quality. It's meant to be a very impressive bit of kit. 1.7 extender um, actually turns the 16 to 300, for instance, into a 110 to 510, and the stop would change from T 2.8 to T 4.9, and it's meant to be obviously exceptionally good, as you would expect from Ari. The zooms cover full frame and Vista Vision size sensors, uh, but they will work, you know, just as well on a smaller Super 35 size sensor with, uh, you know, obviously a longer reach when you crop in. The lenses are pretty much future-proofed and they're designed for 8K resolution and HDR. And the zooms cover a 46 millimeter image circle, which is identical to the Signature Primes. So the Signature Primes, which were announced in March 2018, I think there's now 16 focal lengths there, ranging from 12 millimeter to 280 millimeter. So with the addition of these zooms, there's gonna be, oh my God, 20 different matching lenses to choose from. So there really is something for everyone there to cover whatever eventuality, whatever you're shooting, whatever film, whatever documentary, there is a lens that can suit your needs. And Aria claiming that obviously their zooms will intercut, well, interperceptively with their primes, which I think if you're going to rent a package and you're renting some primes and then you want that zoom, that's a good thing to know. Each of the lenses uh, utilizes the same data transfer system, uh, the Ari LDS2 lens data system, which does all the camera information and all the kind of overlays that you might need for VFX. That's all built in as well. I think the advantage of zooms um, over primes is fundamentally speed and adaptability, um, especially with COVID, where perhaps you couldn't be changing primes the whole time. Having a zoom that enables you to do more faster is definitely a good thing. Uh, what's nice to see is Ari have also got the detachable filter that goes inside the primes on the inside. So you can still put your diffusion and your little filters on the inside of the zooms just like the primes. So there we have a quick look at the Aries. I hope that's interesting. Obviously they're at the top end of what you can buy in terms of cine zoom. Price wise between 40 and 60k uh, depending on the piece of glass. That's a lot of money but then again they are a lot of lens and for a rental house they should have a really really long life because they're future proofed large image circle and they've got that exceptional quality that matches with the primes for you know for larger projects i can't wait to get my hands on them and as soon as i do i will share that with you take care